Welcome to Visuals Kingdom, I'm your host Nick Metzger and in today's video I'm gonna show you how you can merge multiple pictures in one epic panorama shot using Lightroom. So actually the only thing you're gonna need is multiple photos and if you wanna create a horizontal panorama you want some uh, vertical shots, let's say about 5 to 10 vertical shots and if you want to create a vertical panorama you, you're gonna need um, horizontal shots. Why? Because you're gonna stitch them all together and then you get the height. And same with the, with the horizontal panorama, if you have vertical shots you, you get a much bigger, uh, you get a much higher picture. So let's start out by importing your shots into Lightroom. I already did that. And this is a panorama from a lake in Mammoth in the US and now you're gonna select all the all your pictures by pressing command A or control A when you're on Windows. Then you simply right click one image, it doesn't matter which one, go to photo merge and click on panorama. Now you need to wait, time lapse that. All right, so now the merge is finished and what I do have now is a pretty fucked up panorama, which you can see here. So what you can do now is select a projection. I always use spherical, but you can play with the others if you want. And then you have two options to get rid of the white space here. You can either check auto crop or you can play with the boundary, rep, boundary warp. If you do that, you will get a much higher picture than if you use auto crop. You see, that's the difference. And then if you're happy with the result, simply click on merge. And it will take some time again. Okay, and now your panorama is created. So let's check that one out. You can now see that we have a problem. And the problem is that because of the edges of the, di of the different pictures, which you can see here, these are a bit darker than the rest of the image, you get these like weird intersections which are darker than the rest of the sky. And we don't want that. So now you have actually two options to get rid of that. The first one is to go into Photoshop by right clicking and go to edit in Photoshop. And we made a tutorial about that where you can use the clone stamp tool to get rid of that stuff. You can find that up here. Or um, you merge the panorama again. And this time what you want to do first is go to one of your images, doesn't matter which one. Scroll down on the right side here and search for lens corrections. All right, and when you're in the lens correction settings, um, either this is unchecked and you need to check it, or it is already checked, and then you have the option to play with the vignet vignetting settings. So if you drag that one to the right, you can see that the edges get a lot brighter. If you drag it to the left, they will get darker. Now, if you want to apply these settings to all your images, simply select them all don't select your panorama from, from before, and press sync. Then it's important that you check lens corrections and um, the lens profile corrections. Then simply hit synchronize. All right, now you do the whole, the whole process again. Go into library, select all your images, except for the panorama. Right click, go to edit, in, no, not editing, go to photo merge and press panorama. Now, if you don't get completely rid of this stuff, the only way is to go into Photoshop and use the clone stamp tool to get rid of it. So I suggest you watch the tutorial up here. And that's how you can create a panorama or just a high res image using Lightroom. It's easy, it's fast. And if you want to help us help more people, subscribe to our channel or watch the next video. Either way, we will see each other next week. Bye.